ABL has demonstrated all of the key technologies needed to bring a new generation of weaponry to warfighters. High power weapon systems testing is the next step. All airframe modifications are complete and the plane has logged over 500 flight hours of operational testing involving over 100 sorties. The high energy lasers power and runtime have been demonstrated and components have been fully refurbished. Laser integration into the aircraft will be followed by activation and high power lasing tests on the ground and in flight, leading to the shoot down of a threat ballistic missile in 2009. This requires focusing the lethal beam at extended ranges precisely on target on a very short timeline. It is here that a speed of light directed energy weapon provides unique advantages, countering the missile threat during its vulnerable boost phase and providing track information and cueing to other elements. ABL is a force multiplier for the entire ballistic missile defense system. Operationally, it works uh, just like a laser pointer. Um, there's a chamber inside with special materials that release photons. If you're looking at a, a, a boat coming in over the water, you can target exactly the engine and take out exactly the engine and not necessarily damage anything else. So, and that type of precision weapon work is, is something that you don't really get with conventional weapons because there's, there tends to be more collateral damage. It's useful against a variety of threats, surface or air. It's not a, it's not a niche weapon system like uh, some other weapons that we have you know, throughout the military where it's only good against air contacts or it's only good against surface targets. Scientists have been working on this top secret project since 1974. This laser is capable of unleashing the power of the sun. Enough energy to light up every home in the US or wipe out mankind. What we can do is focus this very high energy into a very small spot for a very short time. And when that happens, we get the conditions that are very much like inside our sun. How do they create a laser with such devastating force? By assembling an array of 192 lasers and aiming them at a single hydrogen pellet the size of a BB. These 192 lasers are linked together by a twisting jungle of tubes that snake through this mammoth 10-story structure, which is the length of three football fields. The plan is to fire all 192 laser beams at once. Each beam starts out low-powered, about the size of what's inside your DVD player. But as they pass through the complex maze of tubes, they merge into one super beam. The super beam fires 500 terawatts of power in two billionths of a second, roughly 500 times the entire peak power output of the United States. When that light strikes the hydrogen pellet, it cooks it to over 800 million degrees, creating nuclear fusion and unleashing more energy than our sun. Harness this energy, and our dependency on fossil fuels could end forever. When these lasers go online in 2010, are we looking at the dawn of a new age in energy? Or are we looking at something else? A preview of the incomprehensible power that man could wield to fight the wars of the future. An effective laser weapon for use on the battlefield needs only a fraction of this power to destroy fighter jets, shoot down nuclear missiles, wipe out entire armies. Tomorrow's battles could look like a scene out of Star Wars. Powerful lasers on Earth beamed off of satellites in space 
to wipe out an enemy thousands of miles away. If you have a powerful enough laser and a few properly positioned targeting satellites in orbit to reflect the beam, then you could fire a laser here in North America and deliver its energy to any spot on the surface of the Earth. We have a government that's out of control. Some of you go, well, you're saying Trump did. No, I'm not. I'm not saying who did it, but I do know this. The sap in a pine tree burns like kerosene. I've seen these pine trees go up in forest fires before, but this one is much different, much different. The fire started in the middle of these homes and burnt outward. In other words, none of the vegetation burned into the homes. The homes were incinerated from the inside out. They're saying close to 1,500 people or more are missing and now they're starting to find that their bone was reduced to pure ash. Cremated, nothing left. I'm not trying to be gruesome here, but there's no remains of these people in these homes. Are, are you with me here? There's no remains. They're totally gone. How do you do that? How does that happen? The idea that they are reducing homes and people to ash. If this doesn't bother you, it should. That's why they don't care about your guns is because they know what they have. They have the ability to take out whoever they want to, whenever they want to. Here's the problem. You have to figure out who they is. I don't have all the answers. I'm just giving you a watchman report. I'm showing you what I saw. I'm showing you some things that I witnessed on my own weather channel here. Listen, this is a watchman's report. I'm not going to make all these decisions. You make the decision. But I tell you this, you need to make a decision for Jesus Christ because if they have these kinds of weapons, Bullets are not going to do any good. Lead and copper jacketed bullets will melt right inside your guns, let alone the damage that they'll do to you with these kinds of weapons. Hey, whether it be coming from an aircraft or a tower, it's more powerful than what you have. You might as well be using muskets because they're going to come against you as the greater power.